in this video, 10 things you need to know about your drone battery because you don't want this to happen to you coming up. Okay, all right. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada. This is Drone with CL. I love to help people explore the world from the sky. I'm filming my advanced drone course, and this is one of the things that we talk about, which is best practices. And let's start with number 10. You probably already know that when your drone battery is low, it will start to beep, which stresses out a lot of pilots. But one thing to also know about this is depending on how fast you're flying, your drone will adjust. So for example, if you're flying your drone fast in sport mode, your drone will think you will do your entire flight in sport mode. And so what's considered low battery and it starting to beep will adjust based off of how fast you're flying and how quickly it thinks it will run out of batteries. Number nine is when it is starting to run out of batteries and that's critical battery. If you don't know what critical battery is on low battery, return to home will kick in, it'll beep, it will annoy the crap out of you. But when it's critical battery, and I'm talking about being in the red, then your drone will start to auto land. And one thing a lot of things pilots don't know about is you can continue to press the left stick up to keep the drone from landing. It won't stop it entirely, but it will slow the process. In other words, your drone is coming down, but you're kind of fighting against it and trying to keep it in the air. Again, it will land, but it will at least slow the process if you are on critical battery. All right, it's time to run out of batteries. Any, any moment now. It's cold. Ooh, look, it's red. Yeah, 12%. Ooh, low battery landing. So it will just land in its current location. And I am going to Critically confirm low that. Force landing in progress. So I am just pressing the up button. See, I'm pressing the up button. You see the H, the height. So it's force landing. I got 11%. Coming down, but as long as I keep pressing up, it keeps it in the air. So it's keeping it in the air. Number eight is around hot and cold. In other words, if you're flying in the heat, like I was in the Bahamas, or in the cold, like I was in the mountains of Salt Lake City, Utah, your drone battery will drain faster. It simply does not perform as well in hot and cold environments versus regular environments. But you might not know number seven, which is don't let that battery get fat. In other words, if you're in the heat a lot, it's important to make sure your drone and its battery aren't constantly exposed to high heat. What happens is your drone will become fat. And there, there are varying levels of fat, both with drones and other things, but what's important to know is if it gets too fat, well, your battery won't fit into your drone anymore. And I can't tell you how many friends I've had where the battery comes out of the drone while they are flying because the battery is fat and doesn't fit anymore. And when your drone doesn't have a battery anymore, it's no longer flying, and I hope it's somewhere retrievable where you can grab it and not over the ocean. So don't let your battery get fat. By the way, if you're getting some value out of this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing, and if you have a helpful tip, add it in the comments below so we can all help each other. And if you're looking for more helpful tips like this, consider subscribing and check out my courses in the description below. Number six is related, which you're listening for that click every time. Even if your battery is on a diet and is not fat, you are listening to make sure it clicks into place every time to avoid stories like the one that I just shared. Number five is about things not to check. In other words, well, it depends. If you are traveling with your drone, and I have other videos, links in the description below, but if you're traveling with your drone, the best practice is if you want to carry on your drone, you bring your drone onto the plane and you put your battery inside the drone. 
your other spare batteries simply go in the bag with it. And an additional best practice is to put it in a LiPo bag, LiPo bag, something like that. And if you don't know what this bag is, basically if something happens to your drone battery, it explodes or catches fire or something, this bag will help to contain that and keep it safe although not usable anymore. If you wanna check your drone into your checked luggage, then you're putting your drone and one battery inside of your checked luggage. Make sure you have a case and the gimbal cover on and the rest of your spare batteries come carry on with you. Optional with that LiPo LiPo bag as well. Number four, don't go all out. In other words, don't gut on that plane fully charged. In other words, let your batteries, and if you let them sit even for a day or two, let them come down. In other words, it's a best practice to not travel and fly with your drone with it having full batteries. In other words, maximum strength and capacity. You want them to be a little bit less powered, or for me, what I will do is I'll simply go have flights and then come with empty batteries and then charge them once I get on the other side of where I'm traveling to. Number three is one of the reasons I recommend that people get the fly more combos with DJI, which is the spare batteries are not cheap and it varies by drone that you have. Examples would be the Mavic Air 2S battery shared with the Mavic Air 2, same battery for both drones is around $100. And the Mavic Mini 3 Pro, I just ordered that battery. I ordered the longer length battery, which costs a little bit more versus the regular flight time battery, but those are some things you can expect. So batteries, they can run you up a bill if you need extras. Number two is that it takes forever for these to charge. In other words, if you're not familiar with drone batteries, they take around 60 to 90 minutes to charge, which is always longer than we want it to be. And number one is one that confuses a lot of new pilots because they're like, why won't my drone battery charge? If you just had a flight and your drone battery is hot and you put it onto the charger, it will wait until it cools down to start charging your battery. So that 60 to 90 minutes, especially if you've gone and flown somewhere that's already hot, it might take even longer for your battery to cool down and then start charging. These are 10 things you might not know about your battery. Make sure you check the links in the description below for more helpful resources. Add your tips in the comments below and I'll see you in the next adventure. Ciao.